forgive me if this is a dumb question, but how does it end? It will probably end the way it began. There will be a WHO declaration, which is based on technical indicators as well as of judgments about when enough people around the world don't have the disease. But we are unlikely to stamp out COVID-19 the day the WHO has declared the pandemic over. So the pandemic may be over, but the virus and the illnesses might linger. I go back to smallpox, which despite a globally unprecedented effort to fight, took us a good 20 years to eradicate. When you were talking about smallpox, and you talked about an unprecedented cooperation, what did that look like? What that looked like was the US and the Soviet Union at the height of the Cold War, cooperating on almost every aspect of eradicating the disease finding a vaccine, getting it out to the countries where it was needed, cooperating on the policies that we required, including intellectual property, to get it out there and simply not let impediments get in the way. And it still took 20 years. And it still took 20 years. Penicillin, which had been kind of discovered in 1928, its therapeutic uses began becoming apparent towards at the start of World War II and penicillin production in the U.S. was massively ramped up through a very innovative cooperative arrangement between companies and the U.S. government in which IP played very little role. Why? Because this was seen as doing something collectively to fight a common bad, which was the war. That's the kind of footing we should be on now. You hear countries sometimes talk aspirationally, like Australia, about we're going to get to COVID zero. Does that make any sense? COVID zero in our minds uh, might work. So what really matters is when do you and I feel that it's safe to do everything we used to do before? That would be a judgmental COVID zero. So COVID zero is not about eradicating the virus totally. It's about having a lifestyle that's normal enough for us. Is there a point that we get to where there is the same level of infection and death with COVID as there is with the seasonal flu. So, so we perceive it as an acceptable risk or a manageable risk. I suspect that's where we're headed, that we live with manageable risks, that people die from flu every year. Uh, and although we're concerned about it, we don't let that let our lives grind to a halt. We take precautions. There will almost certainly be booster shots for the virus that we will be taking annually for years to come. And we will learn to live with it but that's not COVID zero, that's living with a COVID that is at an acceptable level.